Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over the EMS mnemonic OPQRST. And if you haven't caught my other videos over different EMS mnemonics, I'll go ahead and link it up in the right hand corner. All right, let's jump right in. OPQRST is a mnemonic intended to assist with the assessment of a patient complaining of pain or discomfort. We most commonly associate OPQRST with a chest pain patient, but it can really apply to any patient that is complaining of pain. O stands for onset, so you can ask your patient, what were you doing when this pain started and how long has it gone on? And the P stands for provocation or palliation. So for example, is there anything that would make this pain better or worse? And that could be anything from sitting up, laying down, any medication the patient may have taken prior to our arrival, that sort of thing. And the Q stands for quality of pain. So ask your patient, can you describe the pain? Is it sharp? Is it dull? Does it feel like pressure? Is it achy? Does it come and go? And the R is for region or radiation. So where exactly does it hurt? Does it hurt in the center of your chest, if we're talking about a chest pain patient, or somewhere else? And does that pain radiate anywhere? So if we're talking about a chest pain patient, for example, do we have chest pain that's radiating down the left arm or chest pain going up into the jaw? Those are good questions to ask when you're looking for the R. And the S stands for severity. So I'm sure if you're in the EMS field or going into it, you've heard of on a scale from 1 to 10, rate your pain. 10 being the worst you've ever felt. That definitely helps us get a better idea of how bad the pain actually is. And the T is for time. So a good question for time would be how long has the patient been experiencing this pain and how has it changed over time? All right guys, that's OPQRST for you and if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and I will see you next week. Bye!